for more than a century. CSA Group has worked tirelessly to develop standards for aircraft parts, bridges, and wire rope. And the result has been safety. But CSA Group invites you now to ponder a terrifying alternative. To imagine what life would have been like without CSA and its array of standards. And without the volunteer members who write these standards. The calamity that would ensue in a world without standards. The dawn of the 20th century brought innovation, excitement, jazz, and a boom in train travel. CSA was in the vanguard, unveiling its specification for steel railway bridges in 1920, followed by the Canadian Highway Bridge Design Code in 1922. But what if they hadn't? What if there were no members contributing their time and expertise? In a world without standards, there would be no regulations for working at heights and fall protection, and no OHS management system or training standards. A risky proposition, to say the least. Imagine if you dare. Life without the 1927 Canadian Electrical Code Part 1 Safety Standard for Electrical Installations. Much like our world, a world without standards has abundant natural resources which have the potential to play a key role in innovation and progress if they are responsibly managed. But without standards to protect them from stormwater and flooding, Canadians would find themselves knocked akimbo by vicissitudes. What's this now? A world without standards for public safety? This won't end well. The past hundred years have brought revolutionary change in transportation and how we power our vehicles. But in a world without standards, there's no quality management. In our world, we have state-of-the-art standards for surgical safety, for equipment, hazardous materials, and the reprocessing of reusable medical devices. But what if there were no standards for healthcare or for patient lifting devices? The construction of buildings involves electricity, plumbing, complex machinery, and countless parts and materials. Standards have played an essential role in protecting people and improving the industry. But in a world without standards, uh-oh! That was too close! Sorry chum, no standards for you! Lucky for him, he was standing in exactly the right spot. But we don't have to rely on luck, for we live in a world with standards. Thank you, CSA members, for keeping our houses standing, our cars running, and our lives safe. We're grateful to live in a world with standards. Keep up the good work. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the glittering highlight of the conference. We are about to announce the recipients of this year's member awards. What do you say? Let's go inside. Hello again and welcome. We are about to honor 14 volunteer committee members for their outstanding contributions. If you're interested in learning more about their impressive careers, check out their profiles at the member space on CSA Communities. Volunteer committee members make CSA what it is. We thank every committee member for your dedication, your knowledge, and your passion. Your work ensures that CSA will truly be able to hold the future to a higher standard. Each year, we celebrate members whose contributions are especially noteworthy with the John Jenkins Award, the Award of Merit, and the Young Professional Award. Year after year, the winners of these awards tell us the greatest part of this honor is knowing they've been nominated by their fellow members and peers. So, let's get to the awarding. To start the proceedings, I'm pleased to announce the recipients of the 2022 CSA Award of Merit. These individuals are being recognized for their outstanding contributions in the development and advancement of voluntary standards for healthcare, worker and public safety, alternative energy vehicles, nuclear safety, construction and infrastructure, 
petroleum and natural gas, the environment, energy efficiency, and electrical safety. Let's meet our 12 Award of Merit recipients. Our first recipient is Brian Chan. For more than 25 years, Brian has been a dedicated member of many CSA committees, developing standards for nuclear safety. Brian has been a tireless ambassador for nuclear standards, often serving as a bridge between the federal regulatory authority and the nuclear industry. It's a delicate balancing act, and Brian has been tremendously successful, thanks to his consistent spirit of collaboration. Brian is a mechanical engineer nuclear with TSSA in Toronto. Please welcome Brian Chan, who joins us today from his home in Brampton, Ontario. Hello, my name is Brian Chan. I want to thank CSA for the award and also want to thank TSSA for supporting the co uh, activities. Thank you. Congratulations again, Brian. Our next award of merit recipient is Honorio Cicchini. For the last 30 years, Honorio has been an active member of the CSA Z341 Technical Committee on Storage and Underground Formations. He served as chair for two editions of the standard. A committed advocate of CSA Group and the Z341 standard, Honorio has been involved in presentations at expos around the world and helped develop and implement the initial Z341 training. Honorio is president of Cicchini Projects in Sherwood Park, Alberta. And Honorio joins us today from his home in Sherwood Park. I am honored to receive this CSA Award of Merit. I wish to uh, thank those who nominated me and all of the committee members that worked so hard to make the underground storage standard what it is today. Thank you. Congratulations to Honorio. Our next Award of Merit recipient is Lori Gallagher. Lori has made great contributions to every CSA committee on which she served. She is a well-respected and tireless advocate of electrical safety in Ontario and across Canada, playing a key role in developing improvements and additions to highly complicated standards. Her skills in team building and knowledge transfer are exceptional and have earned great respect from her fellow members. Lori currently serves as the Executive Director of the Utility Standards Forum in Guelph, Ontario, which is where Lori is today. Thank you. I am so thrilled to be receiving this award of merit. As someone who's never worked for a utility, is not an engineer, and is one of the few women on technical committees in our industry, it is amazing to be recognized as a leader among the experts. Thank you to my friends and colleagues from the Power Engineering Standards Group who nominated me, and to all the members of USF that support my contribution. And thank you to everyone at CSA for this honor. Congratulations again. Our next Award of Merit recipient is Patricia Ann LaCree. Patricia Ann has been a member of the Technical Subcommittee on Ocular Tissues since 2004. In 2015, she took on the role of Chair, where her approach to leadership was impartial, objective, and tactful. She's also been an active and valued member of the Technical Committee on the Safety of Cells, Tissues, and Organs for Transplantation and Assisted Reproduction. Patricia Ann is an ophthalmologist with the Centre Universitaire de Ophthalmologie, Université Laval in Quebec City. And Patricia Ann joins us today from Quebec City. Alors bonjour, je voudrais dire un grand merci à la CSA pour cette reconnaissance vraiment appréciée. Uh, special thanks for my wonderful team, uh, to the, uh, my wonderful team of the Ocular Technical Subcommittee. Thank you. Congratulations again. Our next Award of Merit recipient is Gordon Lehman. Gordon has been an exceptionally active member of CSA Group's concrete committees for more than 20 years. His leadership and balanced approach have resulted in innovative ideas that have supported significant changes in CSA's concrete standards. Gordon is Senior Materials Engineer and Principal Stantec Consulting Limited in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Gordon joins us today from his home in Lucasville, Nova Scotia. I'm very overwhelmed and, and humbled to receive the award of merit from CSA. Thank you to my colleagues and friends on the CSA committees for taking the time 
to nominate me for this award. It is truly appreciated. Volunteering on the CSA committees has been a great learning experience. That, and, and this collaboration ultimately benefits us all. Thank you again for this recognition. Congratulations, George. Our next award of merit recipient is Gilles Rivard. Gilles is a highly regarded stormwater expert and has been a dedicated CSA group member since 2008. He served on advisory committees for training modules on stormwater management and on 10 different standards committees in the areas of green infrastructure for stormwater, flood resilience, erosion and sediment control, along with management standards for stormwater systems. Gilles is Vice President, Urban Hydrology with LaSalle NHC Inc. in Montreal. Gilles joins us today from Montreal. Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to thank the CSA Group Standards Development Council. This is Sian Chetzi, President of Standards, the member of the Board of Directors, uh, and all my CSA Group colleagues with special thoughts to the two project manager who took charge of the project I was involved in, Ryan Zupensik and Lynn Barber. Both provided expert leadership to manage efficiently the different standards that were developed within the Stormwater Group. Receiving this award uh, is quite an honor. And I must confess that uh, it was kind of ex unexpected for my part. Partici participating in the CSA's activities over the years has given me the opportunity to take part in interesting conversations with like-minded persons who are committed to the advancement of stormwater management in Canada. I must add that I received as much as I've tried to provide to the different committees I was involved in. Merci pour la reconnaissance, c'est très apprécié. It is indeed sincerely appreciated, and the award will have a special place in my heart and on my desk. Thank you. Congratulations. Our next award of merit recipient is Simon Smith. Simon's knowledge in the area of respiratory protection and his contributions to the development of CSA PPE standards have been invaluable. His ongoing analysis of relevant research and technical publications has helped committees make evidence-informed decisions and justify those decisions. Simon retired in late 2019 after a 30-year career as manager and research specialist with 3M Canada in Brockville, Ontario, and he continues to support standards development for CSA Group. Simon joins us today from his home in Kingston, Ontario. Thank you very much for recognizing me for this award. I accept it on behalf of a very dedicated team that gave a terrific effort in recognition of an extremely urgent need at the height of the pandemic. This was to create a standard supporting a new respirator certification program in Canada. This contributes to alleviating critical shortages of effective respirators in healthcare facilities and elsewhere, so reducing infection risks to Canadian workers now and into the future. I'd like to recognize the CSA Z94.4 Technical Subcommittee, and especially Ron Myers, the CSA Project Manager for Safety Equipment, Eva Dixon, uh, Committee Co-Vice Chair, and Dennis Nickel, Committee Chair. The new system applies in parallel with the historic US system that, at this time, could not fully address needs in Canada for respirator approvals. And personally, even though post-retirement, this has been a high point in my career, to be able to contribute substantially to the creation of a national standard, where the rather specialized experience I had gained in respiratory protection equipment design over a career could be put to practical use in supporting the health and safety of workers at the front end of the pandemic. Congratulations again. Our next award of merit recipient is Julia Cherner. Julia has been an exceptionally active contributor as well as an outstanding leader on CSA nuclear committees since 2006, including the Technical Committee on Concrete Containment and Safety-Related Structures for Nuclear Power Plants. She has committed substantial time and energy to the development of standards, optimized the committee's work and engaged members, and consistently maintained the technical integrity of the standards. Julia is a specialist civil engineer with SNC Lavalin Group. Julia joins us today from Burlington, Ontario. I'm very honored to receive this award of merit. I would like to thank committee members and CSA staff for their incredible dedication and support in achieving our common goal, 
to ensure that structures in the nuclear industry are safe, reliable, and economical. Congratulations, Julie. Our next Award of Merit recipient is Gary Thompson. In the past 22 years, Gary Thompson has participated on an impressive 17 CSA Group committees on electrical safety. His active participation in various technical subcommittees in the areas of distribution equipment, distributed energy resources, and advisory groups has been instrumental in advancing safety in the design and installation of various assets of the distribution system. Gary currently holds the position of Principal Development Specialist, Sustainable Infrastructure, with Johnson Controls. Gary joins us today from his home in Thornhill, Ontario. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary Thompson, and I am pleased to accept this award of merit from the Canadian Standards Association. I am very appreciative of it, and my time spent with the Canadian Standards Association has been indeed a momentous one and a very rewarding one. I'd just like to thank my, my family, my God, for supporting me throughout these many years, and also the people at CSA, Sonny, Motion, and Michael Wilson. Looking forward to many more years of working with CSA and making electricity safe in Canada. Thank you. Congratulations again. Our next Award of Merit recipient is Tom Van Loon. For more than 20 years, Tom has been both an active participant and a leader in the development of CSA's welding standards. Tom's passion and technical expertise in welding, particularly filler metals and applications, are well known across North America. Always willing to share his knowledge, Tom prides himself in giving back to the industry and has displayed excellent leadership in technical, administrative, and special CSA committee activities. Tom is Technical Sales Operations Manager at Select SAI Arcos Industries. Tom joins us today from Green Valley, Ontario. Being part of the CSA Technical Committees has been a very rewarding learning experience shared with numerous industry peers who are all dedicated to standards development. I'd like to thank the W48 Committee, the Award Selection Committee, Select Arc Inc. and retired welding professor Jack Pacey of Northern College for his inspiration and guidance early on in my career and his commitment to all the students he has inspired with his knowledge over the years. This award is dedicated to Jack and holds a special place in my heart. Thank you so much for the recognition. Congratulations again, Tom. Our next Award of Merit recipient is Leslie Woodward. In a relatively short time, Leslie has already made significant contributions to CSA Group standards development. She's invested tremendous time and effort to develop codes and standards for propane autogas. She is a truly exceptional committee chair, leading by example and always setting the stage for a collaborative meeting environment. Leslie is President and CEO of Fairview Limited in Oakville, Ontario. Leslie joins us today from her home in Niagara-on-the-Lake. It is an honor to receive CSA's Award of Merit for my work in propane autogas. Creating and maintaining standards is a group effort. Therefore, I would like to thank the wonderful volunteers on my committee and the CSA staff who make this possible. Thank you. Congratulations again. Our next Award of Merit recipient is Marcus Zeller. Marcus has been a CSA group member and tireless advocate for CSA energy efficiency standards for 20 years. He's an outstanding leader, a strategic thinker, and a recognized expert in energy management. He supported CSA group programs by recognizing the role standards can play in implementing energy efficiency programs in the Canadian market. Marcus is a specialist engineer with conservation and energy management at BC Hydro in Vancouver. Marcus joins us today from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. Thank you everyone. The collaboration and people at CSA committees are amazing. As a team, we are contributing to standards on energy efficiency based on the three R's. Standards are developed to be repeatable, reproducible and representative. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. 
That wraps up our Award of Merit presentations for 2022. Congratulations again to all the recipients. Well done, and thanks for bringing your skills, your talents, and your passion to your work with CSA Group. Now we turn to our two final awards. And if we were live in the same room, we would be releasing the doves right now. Our next award is the Young Professional Award. This award is presented to a young professional who has made outstanding contributions in the development and advancement of voluntary standards. The 2022 recipient of the Young Professional Award is Kelsey Van Steele. Kelsey has been an active CSA member since 2016, beginning with her work on the Fall Protection Technical Committee. Since that time, Kelsey has become involved in an increasing range of CSA standards, including suspended access equipment and management of work at heights. Although a relatively new member, Kelsey has never shied away from active involvement on CSA committees. She demonstrated excellent leadership skills when she stepped forward to lead the largest working group for management of work at heights and took on the vice chair role for that technical committee. Kelsey is an associate with RJC Engineers in Vancouver, and Kelsey joins us today from her office in Vancouver. Thank you. This award is received with sincere gratitude, and I'd like to thank my colleagues for the time and effort to nominate me and to the CSA for the recognition. My involvement with standards development is something I take a lot of pride in, so to be recognized for my contribution is an honor. It is both a humbling and rewarding experience, and I continue to learn from the wealth of knowledge and experience at the table with each meeting. I am grateful for the support from RJC engineers, as well as to the encouragement of my committee colleagues. Thanks again. Congratulations again, Kelsey, winner of the Young Professional Award for 2022. Now we've come to the highlight of our award ceremony, in whatever form it happens, the John Jenkins Award. This prestigious award is bestowed upon the person judged to have rendered distinguished service in the development, advancement, and application of voluntary standards. The recipient of the 2022 John Jenkins Award is Colleen Landers. Certified as a registered nurse in 1967, Colleen worked in the Timmins Hospital for 37 years in many areas of nursing. She brought her expertise to CSA Group 22 years ago when she became a member of the CSA Technical Committee on Medical Device Reprocessing, MDR. Since that time, she's been involved with nine CSA Technical Committees and Subcommittees. She's been a leader in helping develop, advance, and implement CSA standards on MDR and sterilization. And that work resulted in vital assistance, not only to the MDR community, but also to the wider healthcare community, helping keep staff, patients, and the public safe during the current COVID-19 pandemic. Colleen is passionate, knowledgeable, incredibly dedicated, and an invaluable contributor to standards development. Her experience, wisdom, and encyclopedic knowledge of national and international standards are unparalleled. Colleen is the owner of Landers Consulting for Healthcare in Timmins, Ontario, where she also tirelessly volunteers her time and leadership to many community groups and charitable activities. For her significant contributions and unwavering commitment to healthcare and CSA standards, Colleen Landers is well-deserving of the 2022 John Jenkins Award. Colleen joins us today from her home in Timmins, Ontario. Please welcome our 2022 John Jenkins Award recipient, Colleen Landers. So good afternoon. I am honored and humbled to receive the John Jenkins Award for my exceptional leadership, outstanding contribution to education, and significant contributions to the development of CSA standards for medical device reprocessing since 2000. I wish to thank members of the Technical Committee, Catherine Williamson, Sylvie Dufresne, and Tammy Bernardo, and Yelena Vulovic, our TC CSA lead, for completing my nomination form. When I received my award of merit from CSA in 2005, never did I imagine that in my lifetime, I would win this prestigious award, and I'm so thankful for the recognition. As a registered nurse and medical device reprocessing technician, 
I have always believed that through education and improved updated healthcare standards, we can protect patients and keep staff safe. I know that through sharing my knowledge and best practices, facilitating dialogue on common reprocessing issues and finding solutions through research and CSA standard documents that change has occurred. I have always had a commitment to patient safety and addressing the risks of reprocessing, and I'm a firm believer that education is a way to affect change. No matter where I am, speaking nationally or internationally, teaching students or staff, I promote the CSA standards as I believe that they will promote best practices in healthcare. Medical device reprocessing is a complex process and can affect patients' lives. Ongoing education and training, regular staff and management competencies are required for the achievement of excellent patient care. The new CSA Z314, Medical Device Reprocessing in All Canadian Healthcare Settings, will improve Canadian reprocessing practices in Canada. Canadian healthcare settings need to purchase the standard and write their policies and procedures on this document. I wish to thank my family for their support when for hours I worked at the computer on Z314 documents or was away from home for CSA meetings. I want to thank CSA for the opportunity to serve on the CSA technical committees over the last 22 years and to have a voice at the table as a user and consultant to improve standards. This award will hold a special place in my heart and is something I will cherish for life. Thank you again. Congratulations again, Colleen, on that well-deserved honour. And that wraps up the 2022 Member Awards. We offer heartfelt congratulations to all the recipients and thank them for their great work, their commitment and dedication to standards. Remember, you can learn more about all of our award recipients by going to the Member Awards space on the communities. Be sure to check those out later today. It has been a pleasure to be your host for this virtual event. I hope to see all of you in person next June. Bye for now.